have some catching up to do, don't we? First of all, I'm not sick anymore. Well, I'm just done being sick. The turquoise elephant. Um, I'm very uncreative with names. The only stuffed animals that I have that are named, I have named um, Lammy and Bunny. And I named them when I was like two. So the names that I think you should use are either Dumbo, not very original, or Elefante. Um, because I like it. <laughs> and the name for the blood drop, it, it's kind of like an antonym of itself. Anemia. You know, lack of blood, but it's a it's a blood it's a, okay. You're a carnivorous plant, Helen. Um I second Lilith. I don't know why, I just like that a carnivorous plant would be named Lilith. Oh Lilith! Me and Lilith Daddy Daddy's coming home from the war tomorrow. Daddy Oh Daddy Do I have any odd quirks? Um, sometimes I go into random accents, um, I dance by myself in my room when the music's on. The next set of questions is kind of complicated because I moved around a lot. Um, where did I used to go when I was younger to have many adventures? No matter where I lived, I always found somewhere to have a mini adventure. It didn't matter where it was or who it was with, I always ended up having one. One of, that's one of the things I'm kind of proud of, the ability to have fun almost anywhere. I, I, I just love going out and doing stuff, you know? Do I still go on mini adventures all the freaking time? At the end of the summer, I stumbled upon some water and a bridge, and I jumped off the bridge and into the water. And that was fun. <laughs> I'm afraid of falling to my death from great heights. It was enjoyable. Actually, it's helping me with my fear of falling to my death from a great height, so that's good. Do I go on big adventures? I try to go on big adventures whenever I can. Um, you know, besides life being a big adventure. Um, if moving cross country counts, then yeah. I'm a master at that. A couple years back, my family and I went on a Great North trip, and I ended up swimming in the Arctic Ocean, if that counts as a big adventure. Um, any adventure is a big adventure. Um, I'm going to France in the spring. That's a big adventure for me. I'm, I've never been out of the continental North America, so that would be really exciting for me. Do I lo like walking through the woods? Yes, I love walking through the woods. In fact, there are these, my favorite woods ever is in New Paris, Ohio, at a campground. We always went there for Canadian Thanksgiving in the fall time. And we always had the same camp spot too. My sister and I, when we were littler, would go behind in the forest and we stumbled upon a path that took us to a railroad bridge and it's so random because there weren't any railroad tracks around just this railroad bridge and we obviously couldn't jump off and we wouldn't even dare too shallow too fast too scary but it took every like molecule of my body to be able to cross that bridge because of my fear of falling to my death from a great height. And I really want to go back and conquer that bridge. I want to run across it because I haven't been there in years, maybe five years. And I, that is my favorite camping place. Um, to those of you who do go camping, do you guys have a favorite camping place? One of my goals is that I want to go backpacking in, in just woods, random woods, no campground, you know. Um, to any of those who have gone backpacking, uh, do you have any stories, funny, awesome stories about that? Because I'd really love to hear it. Halloween is upon us in a couple weeks, and I also 
like to make my own costumes. I think I got that from my mom because she always made costumes for my sister and I and my brothers when we were little. And so I just like making costumes. For instance, not this past Friday, but the one before it was homecoming and I went to the dance with my best friend and she was a hunter and I was a hippie, which is kind of funny because that's exactly like our personalities. And I spent the entire week prior making my costume. But I do have a photo shoot coming up that I'm doing. Um, and so I had to get angel wings for that. And then when I was at the store, I got in a fist fight. And that's how I got these bruises. <laughs> You should have seen the other guy. I'm not joking. Mm -mm. No, I got some bruise makeup for this shoot that I'm doing, and I was just trying it out. Um, I'll show you guys when it when I'm done with it. 